What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, shout out to Jafil and shout out to the Godfather Magician. Um, these two people right here, loyal subscribers, been with me for a minute, for a hot minute, and um, I'm just going through so many freaking comments, man. And I apologize, I haven't, I haven't got to this video just yet, but dropping the bomb right now for you guys. Um, I'm gonna just kind of break down um, a question here which led to the Godfather wanting to kind of know the same thing as well. So um, I'm going to kind of just show you how I do it and how it's done, you know, in 2021 and beyond with, with Facebook ads and, and landing pages. They're just simply commenting on a, a, a video that I dropped. This video is kind of, I think it's an older video. Um, this, but I mean, shit, same, same, you know, same strategy, same, same stuff applies. So I'm going to try to answer the question as best as I can in today's, you know, world, but, a lot of the shit's still the same. So let me see. This video was um, was dropped on, let's see, April 19th, 2020. So from this one video alone, not much has changed other than the, 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 the updates on the Facebook business manager side. But again, I'll touch on that and, and, and really try to make some sense of this one. So let's break down his question real quick. Um, great vid, but can you make an updated 2021 video? The platform has changed a little bit, added one or two new things. Also, I would love to see what you do to complete a full ad. Um, for example, I am not sure how many interest um, I should have, and also what estimated daily reach should aim for. Great questions, man. Um, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to link at the end of this video. I'll also link it in the description. A video that I just dropped a couple days ago on 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 the new business manager. So the the new iOS the new Apple iOS 14 updates when it comes to the Facebook business manager. Okay, I have a full-blown video, a full-blown training. I'm coaching a couple clients um, through that whole setup. So I'm going to, rather than going through all that right now, um, because I want to, I want to really answer and, un, and, and really unpack uh, uh, your other questions here. I'll just link that video. So, so when it comes to this one, this first one, um, the updated 2021, a little has changed, added a two more, a few, uh, added one or two more things. Yeah, for sure. That, that is, is the whole Apple iOS update thing. Um, so I have a full blown video linked right below that will teach you everything about that. Okay. Um, also, I'd love to see what you do to complete a full ad. For example, I am not sure how many interest. Okay. With that one as well, with that one as well, I'll link a video below where I'm walking, I'm walking a client through how to set up multiple ad sets. So what you really want to do is when you start running, when you start running conversion ads, okay, conversion ads, when you go to the ads manager, you click on the green button, you click on create, and then you go to the ad objectives, right? Traffic, engagement, video views, lead generation. If you're in the business of capturing leads, if you're in the business of making sales, and or if you're in the business of of, of, of scheduling appointments. So if you're trying to get clients to schedule appointments with you, then that's the third one. So if you're in, if you're in the business of those three objectives, lead capture, making sales, scheduling appointments, conversions is what you want to be running. Okay. So when you go into the, you click on the green button, you go into the objectives, it's conversions. Okay. Um, when you go into that section and, and, you, and you set that, that first step up, that first step, yeah, the, the objective, you choose conversions. Then you go into the second step, which is ad sets. Okay, that's your ad set level. That's step number two. In that, in that second step, when you're running conversion ads, what you want to do is you want to separate your interest. So right here, I'm not sure how many interest I should have. What you want to do, what a lot of rookies do is they'll put in a ton of interest in that one ad set, right? So, so as you go into the detailed targeting, you're putting in health, you're putting in wellness, you're putting in people interested in, in diet, you're putting people who follow this health magazine, you're, you're, you're putting in people who are following weight loss programs, you're, 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 you're typing in an interest of people following um, 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 any of the, of the, of the top weight loss professionals, right? You're putting in and packing in a ton of interest in that one detail targeting. That's how you don't want to do it. That's what rookies do. Okay. So when it comes to this question, it comes down to, it's up to you. 
but how you're going to do it is you're going to separate them and that's multiple ad sets. So for example, if you're in the health and wellness field, I would run the ad, I would go again, conversions, go to the second step, which is ad set, where you put in the budget, you put in the calendar date, you put in um, um, the detailed targeting, your demographics, that's all on the second step, that's your ad set. But if we're in the health and wellness space, let's say, for example, how many interest, let's say we go with five, okay? Now, again, we're not going to take the five interest and bulk them all in and bunch them all in and, and add all five of them. We're going to take the five and separate them. We're going to create five separate ad sets, okay? Five separate interests, five set up independently, individually, separate, okay? That's multiple ad sets. So again, I'm going to link a video for that right below how to set up multiple ad sets. That will help you with that. But when it comes down to it is there's two different ways. You can take, let's say we have five interest keywords, right? How many interests? Let's say we have five. You can have 10, 15, 20. It's up to you. You can have freaking 60. It's up to you. But here's how it really plays out. Let's say we just have five. We bunch all the five in and then, and then we're running at five bucks a day. When you do it that way, you don't know which one keyword, which interest keyword out of the five. You don't know which one it is that popped. Okay. You're running five, five bucks a day. You're targeting five different interest keywords, you don't know which is the one that's giving you an ROI. That's the rookie way. That's why what you want to do is you want to set up multiple ad sets. You want to create five ad sets. If we have five interest words, we're going to set up all five of them individually, and it's going to be its own ad set. But here's where, again, you got to be in it to win it. You got to put money in. You got to put skin in the game because it's going to cost you more when you run it the right way. It's only going to cost you more upfront for a few days. Okay. So here's how it, how it works. The five interest words are now set, set up separately. Okay. All the same, same ad, same, everything, same ad, everything. The only difference is how we're setting it up. We're setting up the five interest words separately, which now has its own separate daily budget. So what rookies will do is they'll put five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, whatever, and they'll bunch all these different keywords in. I'm telling you not to do that. Again, the video will be in the, in the, in the description, all right? Watch that video, how to set up multiple ad sets. Because the real way you want to do it is you want to take these again and separate them. But now as we create multiple ad sets for five different keywords, we're now spending five bucks a day times five, right? So now, again... You want to play with the big boys? This is how we're playing. Now I'm at 25 bucks a day. And, and again, that's why most, most, most don't want to do that. Most can't do that. Most can't afford to do it. Whatever the excuse is, some are legitimate. Some are not. You have to be in it to win it. But again, it's only for a few days. So as you run that, you're now running five bucks a day times five, five bucks for each word, for each interest keyword, right? But you're only going to be running that for three days. Now, again, that's costing you 75 bucks to do it. But here's what ends up happening. In three days, by the fourth day, you're going to see the one ad set. You're going to see the one interest keyword out of the five. You're going to see the one that actually pops. You're going to see the one winner that actually clearly stands out from the other four interest ad sets. And that's when you go on the fourth day, that's when you go and shut off the other four. You shut off the four that are not performing, whether they're, whether, whether, yeah, in this, in this case, it'd be sales, it'd be appointments, or it'd be leads. You're, you have five of them running. By the time the fourth day hits, you're looking at the metrics and the four that do not perform, that are not performing the best, you shut off and you let the one ride that is, Okay. That's multiple ad sets. That's how you want to target your interest keywords. You got to know which keyword is popping. You can't just bunch in a bunch of keywords and, ex and expect to do something. You can't. You got you to gotta separate them. That's multiple ad sets. Um, you got to be running conversion ads. If, again, you're capturing leads, making sales, or freaking looking for appointments. It's conversions. Um so hopefully that addressed that. Again, watch the video in the description. That will make a lot more sense um, as, I, as I take a client through, through that training. Um, also, the estimated daily reach um, I should aim for. So 
it's not the it's not the daily reach. It's not the daily reach that you really need to care about because it is what it is. Whatever the reach is, whatever your 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 niche, whatever the audience, whatever whatever it is, it's up to you. What it really comes down to is your daily budget. It comes down to um, how much you're spending. That's what's going to determine your 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 estimated daily reach. There's nothing really you need to aim for. But but at the, actually, you know what? Let me rephrase that. There there actually is. You don't want the niche to. You don't want to. You don't want the the potential reach, meaning the audience, the potential reach. You don't want it to be too small. So I don't think you're aiming for a little ass freaking area, but if you are, then you are. If it's a local business, if you're running a local business or you're doing this for a local business, and we're only targeting this city or this town, it is what it is. So that's not something you need to even care about or even you know think about the potential reach. It is what it is. If I'm targeting a local city and my daily budget's only five bucks a day, there's my potential reach. It is what it is. Now, you don't want to just target a freaking one zip code, right? Because if you target just the damn neighborhood, then damn, there's only freaking a few hundred people here. That's going to be not, not a, good, a good target at all. You want to at least target a city where there's at least you know a few hundred thousand people. Even if there's maybe only a few, you know, let, let's say there's only 50,000 people. Well, it is what it is, right? If that's your local area and that's where you're targeting, it is what it is. But what's going to really, you know, increase that daily reach is increasing your daily budget or your lifetime budget. Whatever you're spending determines that reach, okay? As long as you're not just, again, targeting a local neighborhood where there's only freaking 100 people, you know, that's not going to really do anything. You want to be targeting more of a broader area. Even if it is local, you want to target the city. You don't want to target the the micro city. Like, for example, I'm out here in San Diego, right? So wherever you guys are at, you know, I'm in the US, I'm in California, I'm in San Diego. San Diego, there's over 3 million people. San Diego, right? Quote unquote, San Diego. There's a little over 3 million people. But in San Diego, there's a shitload of micro cities. Many of them. I live in a micro city in San Diego. I'm in Chula Vista, a micro city in San Diego. So in my case, you got we got Chula Vista, right? That's the that's the micro city. And then and then in this micro city. There's a shitload of zip codes. The city is actually big. In fact, you know what? Let me, let me, let me look at the population right here. So, population in Chula Vista. Okay. So, the population is two hundred sixty-eight thousand. Okay. So, in Chula Vista, it's it's micro, 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 micro. You got San Diego, and then the micro city is Chula Vista. In Chula Vista, there's micro zip codes. Now it's all Chula Vista, 268,000. That's Chula Vista, but there's a shitload of zip codes, and it and it's it's actually a big city. I can't just walk around in the city. I got to drive, right? So it's actually 268,000. That's still freaking fairly big. But if I'm just like a business on a corner, and 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 I just want to target this little freaking corner, then again, it really doesn't matter how much I spend. There's only a little amount of people. There's only so many people in this little ass area. So what I would want to do is I'd probably want to target the whole damn city. Because even if I am a, a, a local business owner on a certain corner on a certain in a certain zip code, I can still take on anyone in the damn city. That's my city. I'm in Chula Vista. So it's like shit. Right here in my zip code, there's a many zip codes, right? If I had a, a small business and I have a you know storefront and I'm open up, open for business, and, and a lot of my business comes from this surrounding area, which is just a couple zip codes. I can target that area, and and have a have X amount as a potential reach, or I could just target the whole damn city, which I probably would, because again, it's not a big deal. It's 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 the whole city. Anyone in the damn city can come to my business. I'm only a few miles away from anybody in the damn two sixty eight. So. I'll just run an ad to the whole damn city and have a potential reach of 268,000. But again, as I go and set up my ad, it may not show me that because the potential reach is based on my budget. So even if my budget was, was 10 bucks a day, 
it'll give me a certain potential reach. If my budget was 15 bucks or 20 bucks a day, it'll give me a, a, a more higher potential reach. If my, but if my budget was only three bucks a day, it'll give me a smaller potential reach. So it's kind of all up to you on, on your budget. It's all, it's all based on your budget. Um, and you don't want to target just a small ass area, target the whole city. Me, Again, I would target the whole city. I would target 268. I would target the whole, whole, whole city. But again, that's not going to be my potential reach because the potential reach is really based off the budget, okay? So how do you, let me break this down even further. So how do you even determine your budget? Here's what you want to do on the budget. The budget should be based around your product or service. So if I'm selling a product and my product is 100 bucks, Every time someone buys it, $100 comes into the business, whether it's net or profit, or I mean, excuse me, whether it's net or revenue, let's look at the revenue, right? The net is how much you take home from that, from that, right? I would look at the revenue, $100. The transaction was 100 bucks, okay, to sell my product. That's how I would look at how much I would spend on, on an ad and, and how much I would look, look at spending on it daily, so, so, so most again are thinking five bucks a day. Most are freaking Mickey Mouse in this shit. Most are freaking tiptoeing around Facebook ads and not going all in. Most are playing around. You have to look at it. You have to look at it in this perspective where it's like, okay, if every time I get a customer, our company makes a hundred bucks. Okay. Well then I should be spending that much per day on Facebook ads. Now, right there, I just lost. 99% of you guys, you guys, you guys are like, holy shit, a hundred bucks a day on Facebook ads. Yeah, dude, a hundred bucks a day. If that's how much you make when you sell a product, that's how you have to be looking at it because a hundred bucks a day is a good ass budget, first of all. And all we got to do is bring in one customer to break even. What if we brought in two? What if that hundred dollar a day brought us four customers? Then we're for sure freaking profiting. But, but if you're just Mickey Mouse in it and spending five bucks a day to make, and, and here's what a lot of people do, especially real estate agents. Shout out to every real estate agent. I help many of them, but it's like, shit, I still don't understand how none of them want to spend money. It's like, what? You make five to six grand per deal. You're making three, four grand per deal. Some of you guys are making 10,000 per deal and you want to bitch about five bucks a day. Are you kidding me? 150, 150 bucks a month? Are you freaking kidding me? When you when when you close one client, you make four grand. How does that mathematic mathematically make sense? Makes absolutely zero sense. A person, if you're if you're real estate example, if if every time I close a client, help a client sell a house, help a client buy a house, and I make a minimum of four grand. How am I not spending four grand? Now, I'm not saying in this case per day, but at least per month. How am I not spending at least 4,000 a month on Facebook ads? Riddle me that. That's the million dollar question. Like, how am I not willing to spend that much if that's how much, it, how much I make per client, right? So it's like a lot of us want to run five bucks a day and make freaking 10 grand and then you're and then you're pissed off when your five bucks don't do shit for you. Makes no sense, dude. Makes no sense. So the way you want to really determine how much you're gonna spend on the damn thing, how much do you make when you bring on a client? How much do you make when you sell a product or service? How much does that make? Not the net on what you take home, the revenue of what comes in on the transaction. You have to look at that. And that has to either determine your daily budget or your monthly budget, okay? Depend on your product or service or how you're, how, how, how the transaction is structured, how you're, how you're making the money, right? How, how it comes in and what type of business your, your real overall um, 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 process is. What's the freaking, what do we make? What do we make per client? What do we make per, what do we make per customer? What I'm saying is spend that per day or spend that per month. You have to be thinking bigger, okay? Because again, if you can spend that, real estate example, if I can spend 4,000 a month and if all I got was one freaking client from it, how do I lose? I don't. What if I got two clients? What if I got three clients? What if I got four clients? What if I spent $4,000 this month on Facebook ads? I got four clients and each client, I made a minimum of 4,000 each. 
I just made 16 grand on 4,000. So break it down, drop a zero. What if I spent 400 for the month and I'm making 400 per customer or per client, right? So I just got in four clients. I made 1600 off of a $400 spend on Facebook ads. You have to be looking at it that way where worst case scenario, if I just got one customer, I broke even. Or if I just got one client, I broke even. You have to do the math and the ad spend that way. Okay. So I hope that made sense on that, Joe Phil. Thank you so much for your question. And again, I apologize that this video is coming out a little late. I've just been swamped, man, on my grind, doing the damn thing, speaking to people every damn day on this shit. Um, and 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 um just trying to stay, trying to stay up to date with with everything that's going on. But yeah, uh, based on your your first two, you know, questions. There's two videos in the description, okay? And, and one will be coming up at the end of this video, but just the links are in the description. Um, the updates, the two new things, the updates, and then also the ad sets. I'm going to link both of those videos below, okay? Um, so hopefully that made sense on everything else. And then I got my boy down here, the Godfather Magician. Um, this one right here, he said, did you make a video? Any link? And one question, does my landing page need some kind of terms and conditions like the lead up form? for Facebook regulations? Very good question. Very, very good question. This is, let me show you this real quick. Still this part from your, um, from me right here, you guys, this right here, this, okay. So this right here is a simple page that I run ads to, right? Um, but down here, this right here is what you want. So you for sure, if you're running Facebook ads to, if you're running Facebook ads, if you're running Facebook ads, Rule number one is that the link needs to be your custom domain. So you can't just run Facebook ads to any random link anymore. Okay, let me sh let me show you an example. Um, let me go to Facebook real quick. As I scroll through the news feed, let's look at what my friends are up to, what everyone's doing, and then I come across a sponsored ad. Austin, here's his ad, right? When I click on learn more, actually, he's running a freaking lead form. Let's see if anyone else is running an ad to a page. Um, learn more. So shout out to Peng Jun. This dude freaking crushes it. Um, this guy right here, he's taking me to a link. Let me show you. Um, right here. Before we used to be able to run an ad, okay? A conversion ad to a landing page. And before... This used to be used to be able to have any link right here. As long as that's your page, right? Your click funnels, your Kartra page, whatever, your lead page, your freaking Kajabi, whatever. As long as that's your page, then um, you can run a Facebook ad to it. So no matter what the link set up here, you were fine. With this new Apple iOS update, this link needs to be yours. Okay. That needs to be your custom domain that you get from GoDaddy or Namecheap or whatever. That's rule number one. So, so going back to over here, um, landing page needs some kind of terms and conditions. This is the first one. This link needs to be yours. That link needs to be integrated with Facebook. So again, the link in the description will walk you through that update with Apple iOS and how to, how to integrate your domain. I have a full-blown video that's in the description. That's one of the two in the description. That, that will walk you through how to how to do that part, okay? But that that's number one. And then yes, if you're running ads to a landing page or any page, you need these at the bottom. And I'm pretty sure that Ping has, has them for sure, um, which is the support, the terms of use, and he doesn't have a privacy policy, which is very interesting because I know this guy crushes it and he doesn't have, maybe it's just terms of use that, that that he gets by with, but normally you need a privacy policy on this page for sure. Um, so back to the page that I run ads to, I have my privacy policy, the terms of use and the, and the disclaimer. So that's what you want right there. Um, and in fact, what I'll do is I'll link these below as well. So you'll see, you'll see mine. Most of them are, are very generic. Like you can, you can Google um, privacy policy generator, and you can see that all of them are pretty much the same. Like even with this dude over here paying, let me click on his, like if I click on his terms of service, they're all the same. Like no matter what company, like they're all the same, like terms of use, terms, overview, all this bullshit, all this freaking legal jargon. It's all the same shit. 
you know, so, so there's, there's apps online, there's, there's, there's companies online, you can type in free privacy policy generator, and, 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 and find a company that can do it that does it for free, and you just, you know, fill in the information and they generate it for you. But again, I can make it even easier for you guys, I'm going to link all my shit at the bottom. So I'm going to link my privacy policy, my terms of use and my disclaimer, copy the damn thing and put it into your own damn page. Simple. So that's what you need for sure. Um, now on your Facebook business page, on your Facebook business page, you want to, you, you need to include that as well. So your privacy policy needs to be on your Facebook business page. Okay. So that's set up over here. Let me show you where that's at. So if I click on, it should be over here. If I click on settings and then I go to general, it should be under the general. Um, I know when you set the page up, it's somewhere in here. Page info, it might be page info. Actually, yeah, it's page info. So if you scroll down, you'll see it right here. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? It's this one right here. Bam. Privacy policy. Okay. So if you go to your page, click on page info, this is where that link to your privacy policy needs to go. There needs to be a privacy policy on your Facebook business page. And then, and then on the actual um, landing page that you're running Facebook ads to, it needs to be there as well. Privacy policy, terms of use and disclaimer. And what I would also do is add this little um, um, fine print right here at the bottom. Okay. This little right here, this little fine print, this site is not a part of Facebook website. I'll paste this right in the description as well. So you'll see this right in the description. It doesn't hurt to add this. Not all of them have this, like this dude over here paying. He doesn't have that, but coaches that I follow and mentors that I, that I follow and learn from, um, this is what they have at the bottom of, of their page. Okay. So that cannot hurt. Um, and again, it's in, it's in fine print. So it doesn't, you know, throw off anybody. It doesn't distract anyone. It's just right there for Facebook compliance if, if, if needed. Um, but I'll, I'll paste that at the end. I'll paste that in the, in the description. I'll link um, these links in the description as well. So you can copy my, my legal pages. Um, and that's it. And, and again, you're just, you're just driving, you're driving it to a link that you own. Okay. That's the big, big thing right there. Um, so hopefully that made sense to you guys. And I use Kartra for everything. So my, my, my landing pages, my email automation, my, my privacy policy, all my pages, my online calendar, um, everything I, I use Kartra for it all. So, um, Right below, there's a 14-day 14 day trial, profitwithkartra.online. Activate a 14-day trial. Compare it to the landing page software that you're using today. Most of these softwares out there are just that one specific software, landing pages. I'm spending 100 bucks a month just for landing pages. I use Kartra because Kartra has everything, all for the same 100 bucks. So I got my landing pages, my email autoresponder, my online calendar. I host my online membership course. I host my videos. I do all my affiliate marketing. So much shit I do all in one. That's Kartra, okay? So I highly encourage you is to activate a 14-day trial, compare it to what you currently are using, and see if it doesn't change your life. See if it doesn't change your business. See if it doesn't save you a ton of money and headache every single month on these services. I also host um, two live online Q and A's. I do a Zoom every Monday and Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. It's a group Zoom where I get everyone that, that, that activates their 14 day trial. And I literally walk you through how to set it up, how to get off to a fast start, how to navigate through the Kartra system and all that stuff. So right when you activate your 14 day trial, you'll get an email from me with all that information, the details, the times, the link for the Zoom call, all that, but you got my back, you got my support to help you really take that software and take your business to the next level online. Okay. So hopefully that made sense. You guys, again, check for all the links in the description. Um, the Godfather magician, add those terms and conditions. The links are in the description, add your privacy policy and, and, and drive conversion ads, man, conversion ads to a landing page and capture all the leads your heart can possibly imagine. All right, guys. So Anything else, man, comment below, ask me some questions. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego. 
I've been building a social media agency since 2016 and a digital product business online here using Kartra and obviously a YouTube channel. So if you're into social media marketing, Facebook advertising, and just making money online, subscribe, man. Smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know what kind of business you got going on and let me know how I can help you online. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video over and out.